Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, thank you for joining in. Today I thought I'd do something a um, bit more casual. Something that I haven't done in a while, like a lifestyle vlog. I remember when I first started this channel, lifestyle vlogs was all that I was doing. Um, and I've got a pretty quiet day today, so I think it'd be a good time to just sort of chill out and connect with everyone. Um, and I got a few things that I want to work on today so I'll bring you along with me so it's my um, my second last day today at the gym and I started saying goodbye to some of the members which was a bit sad a bit awkward you know like everyone's sort of working out and I'm just like hey by the way <laughs> I'm not gonna be around <laughs> but it was yeah it was a bit sad um, it was interesting because I've had uh, quite a few members sort of come out and um, approach me and say that they're really going to miss me and going to miss having me around and thanking me for sort of like being a good coach which I thought it was a bit interesting um, it's nice hearing that because as a fitness coach our job is basically to make you suffer right like our job is to push you um, and to really make you work hard for the sake of progress. So it's oftentimes a, a role where you actually receive a lot, of, a lot of hate and disgruntledness from the members. So to have them sort of say that they actually enjoyed my, my torture was, um, was nice. It was, it was good. Um, yeah, so a little bit sad, but um, you know, it's, uh, I've been, they've, been all, they've all been very um, supportive and um, I'm hearing a lot of the same things of like you gotta just chase your dream, gotta follow what you're interested in. Um, so yeah, that that was interesting. It's also um, sort of lit a little fire underneath my butt um, because now I've actually told a whole bunch of people what I'm setting out to do, um, what my grand plan is, and how I want to start a coffee cart or a, or a cafe. So put a little bit of pressure on me to, um, to actually get that done. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all out there, it's all happening. Um, so I've had a bit of a think about what my next steps are. And I think what I've decided is that for the next six months, six months or so, I'm just going to get a hospo job. So like bartending or waiter or cafe. If I can become a barista or like learn how to become a barista for the next six months, I think that'll be a pretty good gig. Um, just so I can immerse myself in the hospo industry, learn a bit more. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to continue working on my chili oil. And after six months, we'll go from there. We'll see how feasible this coffee cart thing actually is. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and doing a bit of research, um, listening to the Valor podcast, the Valor Coffee podcast, which has been really helpful. Um, they're basically a bunch of, there's like three of them, three 19 year old dudes in America who basically started off, basically what I'm trying to do, starting off their own coffee cart um this was several years back and then now they own two cafes and are quite prominent in in their area so uh it's been very 
helpful and inspiring. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's uh, so that that's what's going on. All of this is sort of like I, I'm really excited, but I, I I wish I had like a business partner or something, or like someone to sort of start this venture with, because it is a uh, it is a bit lonely and a bit daunting doing this all by myself. But um, I just need to like sort of stick to my sort of my plan, my um, yeah, I just need to stick to my plan for the next six months. I'm not even gonna like worry about having to start my own business. I'm just gonna get into a hospital job. I've been applying for jobs. Um, <laughs> I was redoing my resume and look, up. I'm 30, almost 31. I have a fairly, I'm past that age of pretending to be like super professional and like super mild. I know that I've got a bit of a personality and I'd like to think that's what sets me apart. Like my personality, my individuality. So <laughs> I was making my resume on Canva and it just felt right to me to put flames on my resume. So I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. We'll see. It just felt it just felt right for me to put flames on my resume and not putting flames on my resume felt like I was being dishonest to myself. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um this just came into the mail. I bought some new motorcycle boots, so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. Hopefully they fit. Um it's a brand called TCX. It says on the box, TCX Focus on Boots. Which, uh, it's a, it's a weird, weird sort of tagline. But yeah, these are, I've been riding for what, like two years now? Um, and I've been wearing Vans all this time. They're not exactly very safe. Well, they're not safe at all. Um, and it's about time that I got a pair of actual riding boots. So let's do a quick unboxing. I bought these from a place called Moto Heaven. Um, they're in Hyatt, if you're in Victoria. Really cool spot. That's where I got my first helmet as well. It's right over here, I'll bring, I'll show you. This is where I got my helmet. It's a, a bell qualifier. Oh, it's so heavy. I'm so used to wearing my open face helmet. This is a game changer, guys. Anyways, I'm getting so sidetracked. This is my Bell Qualifier helmet. I like it. I like the graphics on it. I think it's cool. I got that from Moto Heaven. They always seem to have a pretty good price. Here it is. So this is the TCX Dartwood in brown. And I was looking for a boot which doesn't look like motorcycle gear, if that makes sense. Like, this kind of looks like high cut Vans. <laughs> this kind of looks like Vans. I wanted the black one, but the black one, it's weird. Like, in person, it was more of like a green, which didn't look very nice. So yeah, let's see if we can get a closer look. Excuse me, Rufus. Thank you. Oh, I've got too many dogs. They're just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so pretty good detailing. I'll see if I can do some other shots of it. Yeah, I mean, as far as riding shoes go, this is as nice as they're gonna look, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and then if I'm wearing jeans, I can wear my pants over them. But yeah, they're pretty comfortable. They're a bit stiff, but I'll wear into them. Yeah, I like them. What do you guys think? I could like wear these with jeans or joggers and they just look like regular shoes. I, I don't like motorcycle gear where you look like a Power Ranger and it looks like you're a biker, you know? So um, these are quite versatile. So. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, so what I wanted to do today, well, there's a whole bunch of things that I wanted to do today. The main reason why 
I ordered my boots and I know it's not a great reason but a big reason of why I ordered my boots was because I'm gonna be riding my Honda Shadow 900 kilometers to Sydney to New South Wales from Victoria to New South Wales um, and I'm not I don't think I'm gonna crash because it's just a straight line um, but it was a good excuse to buy some protective footwear um, so what I wanted to do today is just sort of plan my trip plan my journey because I've given it like zero amount of thought um, it's a long ride nine hours on the road and the whole reason why I want to do this is just to sort of get away from everything and have a little bit of me time um, my friends and family most of my friends and family uh, are in Sydney so it'll be good to spend a bit of time with them um, and since this whole trip is going to be something that I want to relax in I think I'm going to stay somewhere stop it I think I'm gonna stay somewhere halfway uh, half, at the halfway point alrighty guys welcome to my desktop this is a uh, this is all very new to me, um, recording on a computer, and this is what I tried to get into when I thought I was gonna go to start uh, streaming video games, but I've quickly found out that I'm not very good at gaming and I'm not very good at talking while playing games. That's definitely a skill. But uh, let's uh, fire up the old Google and plan out our trip. All right, so this is just Google Maps from Melbourne to Sydney, and that's where Vicky is. Um, Hey Vicky. Anyways, so it's going to take 9 hours and 10 minutes uh, to get there. 879 kilometers. Now, I don't think I want to do 9 hours on a bike. Um, I think I'm past that stage. So, I think we can find a spot right in the middle. I actually have a few friends in Albury. So I could stay in Albury. I also like the idea of staying Near water. That's kind of cool. That'd be nice. Yeah, that might be nice. So maybe I go visit some mates in Albury and then see if there's anywhere to stay here. Lake Hume Village. That'd be cool. Oh, there's a bridge. Do I want to ride across a bridge? That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh damn! All right, let's head over there. Bethanga Bridge. Bethanga. All right, so maybe we can. Um, yeah. All right, I like the sound of this. Now I'm thinking, do I want to camp? Lots to think about. Yes, we have two cameras now. Your boy is going places. We've got <laughs> so many subscribers now. We've upped our budget. Wave at camera A. Wave at camera B. All right, no, I, I like the sound of this. I think what we're going to do is let's uh, let's see if there's any camping spots in Lake Hume Village. Guys, so at Lake Hume Village, there is a camping ground. Well, I think Lake Hume Village is a caravan and camping ground. Um, 29 bucks. Why not? Oh, and dogs. Dogs are okay. Not that I'm going to bring dogs, but I like dogs. All right, done. This is where I'm staying. I guess I'm camping. I guess I'm camping. All right, cool. I'm gonna book this now. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the kitchen. And this might seem really random, but we got a exciting little package that came in today. Um, <laughs> basically, it's a tabletop dishwasher. And um, it's something that me and Vicky have thought about for a while. We've talked to a few people who have who have dishwashers and um, it just sounds amazing, you know, <laughs> not having to wash your dishes. So we want to, we, we're, we're all on board with that. Um, I hate doing the dishes. We do the dishes a lot because our sink's quite small. And if this is just something that we can have to sort of streamline the process and just sort of, I don't know, like just make our life a little bit easier, um, I'm all for it. So super random gonna clean the kitchen uh, it's gonna take me all day and we're gonna try and store the sink
All right, this is our dishwasher, guys. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, Vicky bought it, but the brand is Devanti or Devanti. I put the model number on screen. It's pretty hefty. I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't think it was, was going to be this big. I guess it makes sense if you're going to put plates and stuff in it. Whoa. It's a good size. I'm not sure why it's wet inside. Cool. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think because it was a tabletop dishwasher, I thought it was going to be small. Um, but this looks pretty legit. So, yeah, I need to find a space for it. I'm going to have to measure it and then clear some space in this tiny, tiny kitchen. This is cool. I'm excited. Alright, so there's not many, like, spaces for me to put it. Especially because it comes out like this. This is a big determining factor. I think, I think the best space slash the only space to put it is here. So put it there and then the door comes out. But this sort of deactivates this entire space. What we can also do is put it here. Um, but then we'll have to move this all around. So just here and then it comes down. Um, another solution is potentially we can put it on top of... No, nah, I think we'll stay there. I actually like the idea of putting it over here and then the door comes down. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it a bit. I want to show you guys something. This is, uh, this is really funny. I was gonna make a vlog about this a while back, um, but I just couldn't be bothered. I recorded a whole bunch of footage, but the spaces look looks a bit different. We've got a new... Um, buffet table and we got rid of our sofa and moved a whole bunch of things around and obviously you guys see um, you guys have seen the new studio or the new sort of version 3 of the studio of how I've changed up the space I want to show you my process of sort of figuring out all this stuff it's a bit uh, nerdy and over engineered but it works for me alright so I used to be an interior designer and I worked with CAD programs for a really long time so something that helps me sort of visualize what I'm doing with the house and yes it is a bit over the top but I basically measured and plotted out my entire house or the house that we're renting at the very least and I mean it looks like a lot but basically what it allows me to do is in the future if I ever want to renovate anything I can just pop into this and figure out where I want to put things so for example this is that oval shaped buffet table and then this is the living room with the TV and an armchair that's a lamp so yeah this is uh this really helps me sort of figure out what I'm doing so today we're going to be looking at the kitchen area and I just quickly took some measurements of the kitchen basically the kitchen bench and the three main things that I need to move around and this is going to help me um, figure out what I want to do with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, Cut up the kitchen and see where's the best place I can put this um, dishwasher. Alright, so I've made the three blocks, that's what they call it in CAD, of the three things that I really, like, basically I need to fit into the kitchen, and that's the dishwasher, the microwave, and the coffee machine. So you can see that the dishwasher is a pretty big piece of equipment, especially once the door is down. So I think what I usually do with this is I I get the biggest piece of equipment or the biggest piece of furniture that's going to cause me the most trouble and I try to find the perfect sp um, space for it. So look, there's not many places I can put this. It's a dishwasher, it should be close to the sink. But I'm thinking it's either going to be right here and uh, yeah, so it's either going to be right there or, or it's going to be right here. So <laughs> both not the best um, because just when the doors open it does use a lot of space just from a I guess just at a glimpse 
I think this one is the way to go. And then just have the pipe go straight into the sink, it's really close. Because what happens is, if we put it here, then we'll have to run a pipe from here, up here, all the way across, and into the sink. So just for the sake of making everything nice and tidy, I think this is where I want to put it. And it looks like it's going to fit um, nicely. The only downside is if I'm loading it, we're going to lose a lot of this bench space. But uh, hopefully that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now in terms of uh, the microwave and the coffee machine, And so this is why I like this so much because I can play around with different options and even though I don't have, I'm not 100% sure of how to proceed, um, I'm 99% sure that I've got the first step already which is putting the dishwasher there. And from there, once it's in there, I'll just sort of move things around and just sort of have a bit of an organic process. So basically this is what I do for every room in the house. Uh, it is a little bit of a pain to get started up but if you're someone like me who I mean has this, a background in interior design and also knows how to use CAD or even like um, any sort of any other CAD programs uh, like SketchUp this is I don't know like I really like this sort of way of doing it I think when I um, in the future when I do open up a coffee cart or a cafe uh, this will be a really fun exercise to do with you guys so yeah um, anyways I have a pretty good idea of what to do now so we're going to get back into the kitchen and clear up some space. Alright guys, my phone ran out of batteries, but I have been going to town on this kitchen and I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. I made some big changes, big, uh, well, small changes, which I think is going to have a massive impact on my life. So it's, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So let's have a look. We ended up moving the dishwasher behind this corner. Um, I think that way it's the most hidden. I hated it when it was over here because it was just in front of the window and it, I could fit it underneath this, but it just looked really like huge and cumbersome so here it's sort of tucked away um, for now we're putting the microwave on top I don't mind it I don't love it but I don't mind it it is what it is um, and on top we just have a bunch of like protein shakes protein um, blending cups and all that stuff spare teapot over here we've got a blender and our soda stream so just sort of tucked away um, I like having the soda stream here because we use it quite a lot and just quick access. I haven't plugged anything in just because um, I'm still sort of figuring it out. Um, and so this area is going to be kept clear. This is temporary. Um, we just like to keep these sort of frequently used things on the bench. And if we are going to be using um, the dishwasher, we'll just move it to the side. And this just comes straight out just like that. Nice and easy. New sink setup. This used to be over there, so we've moved it over, and now it's on an angle, so it can just sort of drip straight into the sink, which is <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> we have our compost bin over here, coffee grounds. I can just sort of live in this area. Um, this is good because um, oftentimes I'll try to like I'll be washing up stuff, and then I have to empty this into here, so it's right there. Coffee machine right there nice and easy to work with we've got our toaster kettle water and teapot i'm not sure where to put this um I've, we'll figure something out and i'm not too sure about those plates over there but whatever we'll just keep that there for now and then now so nice and clean spacious um this is a big chopping board that we use for like display but I think it'd be nice to just just have it here just for working. Um, 
So I really dig this, just sort of keep it nice and clean. We used to have like spice racks and like so many different types of oils there that we don't use now. We've just sort of put everything away which we don't need. Yeah, just sort of keep it nice and clean and minimal and aesthetic and just like, it just looks so much better. So this is where most of the work went. These are all of our spices and sauces. And guys, <laughs> I had an epiphany. So my biggest pet peeve, one of my biggest pet peeve about this house is how small the kitchen is. We cook a lot and um, because we spend so much time cooking, whenever we have guests over, or even when me and Vicky are hanging out, um, she likes to stand in the kitchen with me. And so one of my pet peeves is when I'm trying to cook and then someone stands right here because I can't open this, I can't get any of the plates out, I can't get all the sauces. So I did a small change. The sauces used to be here. I've just moved them over. And what this does, what this does is obviously if I'm standing by the stove and I'm cooking, you're not gonna stand right here. That's pretty annoying. Like most people will hang out over here, but then I still have to get them to move to get some sauces. So I've just moved this over to one side and it's amazing. It's amazing. All of these spices used to be down here and it's still accessible. I've used, I moved all of the um, most frequently used spices just over here. You have to sift around a little bit, but major, like massive game change. We used to have medicine like here and up there and it was just sort of just unorganized. I moved all the medicine up top and then just on the top here we've got our um, frequently used uh, uh, things like supplements like multivitamins, hydrolyte, got a diarrhea relief plus that's a oh boy we use that every day. <laughs> So look, I'm pretty happy with this guys. It's a, uh, and we still have so much space. So much space up here. You know that you're getting old or you know that once you're like truly adulting when kitchen space management gets you excited. So yeah, look, I feel pretty good about this. Um, next up is to just sort of sort out this monstrosity down here, but I won't bore you with that. What I'm gonna do off camera is probably just hook everything up and then figure out just exactly how to um, connect this dishwasher because um, you need like a hose and an adapter to the, to the sink. Um, so that's probably gonna take a few Bunnings trips, but I'm not going to vlog that. I think this vlog has probably gone way too long. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, these lifestyle vlogs are always really random. My, my life is very random, but hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for, for coming along for the ride. Um, the next video will probably be about a really exciting space, which I just found out about called Machine Alley. It's a communal motorcycle workshop. Really excited about that. I was gonna go today. I don't think I have time. Or actually, I'd rather just sort of stick with this. So uh, next video will be about Machine Alley. And then after that, I'm going to be riding to Sydney. So really excited about that. Thanks so much again for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.